Konnichiwa Mina, and for the first time ever, I am going to try to do a playthrough on EU4. Now, I did like a practice run back in October to test out on OBS and stuff to make sure everything was working, and it went pretty damn well. So I figured, and since my America playthrough for Victory 2 ended like a week ago, I decided to finally get to this. And of course, EU4, or Europa Universalis 4, is kind of like the same game basically as Victoria 2, only it's more harder and more complex. And that's saying something because Victoria 2 is a very, well I can't say hard, that's actually pretty easy for me, but it's a very complex game. This is like 10 times as complicated, and it's longer too, it's from like, instead of normally in Victoria 2 from 1836 to 1935, this is from 1444 to 1821, almost 400 years and such. And of course, the last <coughs> last bunch of months, I actually did a whole bunch of games off screen, although I was, I was cheating on a lot of them and setting up humongous dynasties throughout the world, which I had so much fun. It was the most fun I ever had with this game. But I'm going to play fair in this game like I've done my Victoria 2 stuff as well. And I decided for my first playthrough to play as probably the easier nations, Castile, which of course is the um, first version of Spain. I already have everything set to like normal and stuff to like do normal difficulty. I don't want to do easy at all. And the goal would be I want to um, form Spain, which means I'm going to have to take over Granada down here and put um, Argon in their place basically or take them over. And I would like to be able to eventually colonize the Americas. And maybe take over parts of North Africa and stuff. Kind of like forms the Spanish Empire in real life. As I already tried to film this episode a few days ago. And unfortunately that game did not go so well in the first film. And so here's my second try at it. As here we go. Hopefully this game will generate France as someone who'd be willing to ally with me. Unlike the last game where they were not allied with us. Because that's one of the big things in the game. Rivals. Unlike in Victoria 2, where they're like up to like three countries that you really, really despise and you'll have major problems with them, so you gotta watch out for them. Argon is usually the rival by default. And then um England and France are the two ones that can flip between each game. Some games they both hate you, some games they both like you, some games one of them hates you and the other likes you, and vice versa. Usually it's um thankfully France that usually like the ally with us and England's the rivals. So hopefully be in this game. Oh, France and England are rivals. Come on. This again. But, huh. Um, Argon, they're not rivals. Now, that is a first. Okay, Burgundy is. Well, that's very unusual. That's the first time I've ever seen a, me play a game as Castile where Argon was not a rival. Wow. Unbelievable. Because there is another option, too, as I'm going to make, unfortunately, England and France my rivals. I don't know if I'm going to do um, Argon, because usually I would do it, because there is another option. In order to form Spain, you have to like get all these territories back. But there is another option. I think Castile, I mean, um, yeah, um, Argon themselves have to do it. There is an option where if a royal marriage will pop up for Argon to marry with Castile, and that could form Spain. So, for that to happen, we had to have good relationships, so... I mean, since we're not rivals, we already have good relations relationship. Maybe I should consider that, but I'm not fully sure about that. But I guess I'll make um, Burgundy. Next, you know, I think I'd rather have Morocco as our rival, since they're more close and much more of a threat. Since I don't view Burgundy as much of a threat. Unfortunately, France and England are going to be problems, maybe. All right, so keep the merchants exactly as they are. Let's go into um, the income. Since we can't go to war yet, set the army to nothing. And mothball all our forts, too. Maybe we could save up to build a fort down here at our border with Argon to be safe. And, of course, our truce with Granada is going to last another four years. Alright, so... Let's set our diplomats out. Because ports... Okay, they're allied with the English, but let's see if we can get them to ally with us, which they... Yeah, they'll accept that. Um... Guess try and see if we can form, like... Relationship with everyone else in the area. Maybe I'll do um Argon then. Oh no, actually no no no. We need to do um the, the Navarra up here so they we can um um vassalize them soon. Let's 
see, um, yeah, it looks all for royal marriage. And I'll save our last diplomat for later. All right, now advisors. Let's see, I'm making 11 ducats a month. Discipline or reinforcement speed. Well, I guess I'll do you, so increase reinforcement. And then for our um, diplomat advisor, yeah, we need to have our relationships. Oh, uh, actually, no, never mind. That's a lot too much money. I guess we we'll have to do more out of navies then. Even though that's not going to be really effective. Cease to build. Well, we can't do missionary strength yet. Not to mention that's not be very needed. So do production efficiency instead. Have our um, navy set out to go um, protect our trade. Yeah, um, we have Tunis and Safi as our um, economic mean merchants are at. So I guess increase the trade in Safi. Alright, so with that, we'll begin the game. Alright, so we entered a royal marriage and we got an alliance with Portugal. But we gotta wait two more days. There we go. But I think, there we go, Portugal already offered a royal marriage. There we go. So now let's try and increase our relation. Ah, we can't do it yet. We gotta wait a couple more months. And I also gotta begin start, um, encourage, I mean, I'll begin forming a, um, Cosabelli takeover Granada. Since that was one thing that screwed up in my last game because. Normally, there would be a um, mission that gave us um, a um, Cazabelli to go take over Granada to do the Recon I mean, re um, Reconquista, but unfortunately, they got rid of that in the most recent update, so now I can't do it, so I gotta form one myself. Alright. I guess we can offer Alliance. And then we'll send our last diplomat down here to start building the spy network so we can start getting ready to attack them. Alright, they accept our Alliance. Alright, let's go in. But well, we gotta wait before we can improve the relationship. We gotta wait like a month still. Come on, hurry up. Get to January 16th already so I can start improving. Because once we get to 190 relationship, we can vassalize you. And then in 10 years, we can annex you. <laughs> and get that territory under our control. So fix our relationship with Portugal and Navarra. Begin to cause the, begin forming a cause of belly against, um... 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 Granada down there since their name wouldn't come to my damn head. And also, let's build up some troops, too. I keep pressing on you. Don't do anything, for God's sake. Jesus. Alright, uh, let's see. In the capital, 8,000 troops to, um, le um, 4,000 artillery. I guess I'll take the risk and build artillery. I mean, um, cavalry. And then build a knight up here. Gotta keep the, um... Cavalry under, I think it was like 50% of um, total troops in a brigade, or else there's going to be a penalty. And of course, when I build that cal, I mean, our, yeah, cavalry, it's going to be 50% exactly, because I got to build some troops to even that out. Alright, so thankfully, our. Wait. Easy. Okay, yeah, okay, we, we'll make it to 190 easy for Navarra. And once our relationship with Portugal gets maxed out, we're going to end our, end doing that. Maybe, you guess, try and do Argon, because this is. Wow, this is just stunning that, um, <clears throat> that they, um, are friendly with us, because I've never seen that before. I've never seen a game where they were friendly with us. It's always the enemy. Hey, oh, they can offer royal marriage, huh? Well, that's interesting, but I think an event has to pop up for that to happen. But if I'm good, but if I don't know for sure if the event's gonna pop up, maybe I should look that up off screen, because if I enter a royal marriage with them, I can go to war with them, but I'll have to break my royal ties with them, which will lower our stability and prestige so that's not good so if i'm gonna do royal marriage i have to make sure it's gonna like make um spain and such but i think they have to fall off and become like join like a be a junior partner partner in the union stuff which is not gonna be easy here we go all right let's build up our fort uh, i guess down here still making six ducats hey i guess Eng oh england france are at war yeah, keep them off bald as we keep our troops fully um, fortified right now. I mean, I'm unsupplied right now. Don't got enough money yet. Next month, we should be able to build another infantry. There we go. Well, there we go. I probably should try and max them out to um, 29,000 as soon as possible, but I'm running out men soon to do that. <clears throat> I got to wait another month. We gotta wait till I think it was 
February of 1448 before we get attacked. And when this, um, um, supply, I mean, spy ring gets to 20 points, we can then fabricate a claim. And then I gotta wait, I think it was like five more points to fabricate a claim on all of the territory. But that'll help out our, um, territory, I mean, I'm help, um, take them over easier. Alright, got a mission fulfilled. There we go. Hey, diplomatic reputation going up. Nice. Wow, there's a whole bunch of missions. I guess they're exclusive to Spain, pretty much. So I noticed on um, the games, this woman said colonize the Caribbean. Like, that's pretty, um, specific, since I'm pretty sure, like, Asian countries wouldn't be able to easily colonize the Caribbean since that's so far away. So I guess it's specifically for, like, Western countries or Spain and such. Yeah, we'll... Yeah, we'll fabricate the claim right to capital. That gives us a core there for 25 years to go right to war with. Now we got, wait, I think it was like 25 points now before we can attack him again. But now we can attack him if we want, but we're going to take a prestige, a major stability drop if we attack him now because we're at truce and we got to wait another two years. And hopefully, that ah, great, they're allied with Morocco. That's definitely not good because Morocco really fucked us up badly last game. Even though I had superior troops and superior numbers. Alright, let's build some more troops. Over here. And then over here. As we got three more slots we can fill up with troops. So we can have 29,000 maximum right now. So that's the one thing I did not do last time. I didn't fully max them out. I think I'm going to try it this time around. Max out 30,000 troops. Alright, Navarre is getting close to 190. Same goes for Portugal, getting to almost 200. Once it hits 200, that's maxed out. We can't do any more. So I'm going to take our diplomat away from there. And have to. And if we have time, maybe go fix our relationship with Argon. I'm probably not... Okay, we got an event coming up. Mm, lose 10 prestige or gate lose stability. Unfortunately, I think losing prestige is a lot worse than losing stability. Losing stability is devastating. And of course, building up costs a lot of points, so... I guess I'll take the prestige drop. Since we're at negative, it's going to go back up to neutral, at least. So that's good in that way. Alright, the troops are built right here. Let's see, you got... How many, how many you can supply? Oh, 27! Wow, okay, I think I'll move you guys right up here. In case when we go to war with them. Alright, now... I think I'll wait before you move to see your troop um, battalion support. How many cavalry you got compared to infantry before I make a move. Alright. Almost 190 for Portugal. When we get to 190 with Navarre, we can offer vassalization so we can turn them into a state of ours in 10 years. Oh, Argon has a core on them too. Oh, England looks like... Well, actually, it's going back and forth between England and France right now, although... All of England's French territory is being um, column taken over right now. Almost done with Portugal. I wonder how much control um, Morocco has on him. Because we could do embargoes on the game, although I don't think they're very effective in my personal experience. So they got... I don't really see them anywhere on the map. It's not showing, huh? I mean, they got court territory there, so they should have a decent chunk. But still not showing. It shows even France, of all people. That's pretty weird. Oh, let's see if it shows down here. Here you go, Morocco. Let's see. We have 36%. I wonder where it shows that right here. Maybe right here. Well, power modifier. Here we go, maybe trade power. But still not showing exactly what... Unfortunately, so I have no idea. Okay, they're making some money off it, so they got some power right there. We got more though, so I'm sure if we did an um, embargo, on it, it probably would be devastating. All right, one more year to go, I believe, before our truce ends. Yep, one more year to go, as at the end of the month, our relationship with Portugal will be maxed out, so we'll call our diplomat back in a moment. Here we go. All right, call you back. Now we gotta wait three days for you to come back. And now we'll go send you to Argon. Oh, they're, who are they at war with? Okay, they're far away. Well, that's good. Hopefully it weakens them too if I have to um, consider attacking them. But right now we'll in, try and fix a relationship with them. Maybe we can um, 
get good terms with them. I'm not going to do Royal Marriage. I'm going to look that up off screen to make sure that it will guarantee me getting Spain. Although I think they have to be weakened somehow, become like a junior partner before we can form Spain. And he, like in another month or so, we can finally begin all for vassalization on um, Navarre, which will be awesome. Alright, let's see down here. Refa okay, you could support. <coughs> not, no, 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 not another ship. I don't want to build no ship right now. Go! I want to work on recruit. Build a cavalry. I mean, yeah, cavalry and two troops. Oh, Jesus Christ, now what? Oh, great. Well, unfortunately, Portugal decided to be an absolute idiot and decide to attack Morocco. And, of course, unlike in Victoria 2, if I don't help them out, I'm going to suffer a major prestige drop, kind of like in Sir Light. But, unfortunately, we're still not fully ready. But I can't also at the same time refuse, because that will ruin our relationship with Portugal. So, unfortunately, looks like I'm going to have to accept. At least Granada's fighting with them, so maybe I can take over their territory now. All right, here we go. Pause. But now we got to fully supply our troops. Because, okay, they're fully supplied already. And our mo our forts are mothballed, I mean, being um, loaded up now, fully supplied, so they're ready to go. Oh, and speaking of which, our ships, too. We got to find them. Ships at there's Portugal's. There we go. All right, looks like we're at the blockade now. They might be too strong right now to take on, so maybe we'll port right there. Let's get a general, because I think we got one. There we go. We got one general. Still too early to send them out yet, but we can go down here at least and go right into the capital. We'll go down here to the capital and knock maybe Navarre out of the war maybe take something from them as the war is unfortunately not going well in Portugal's favor yet all right now they're down in Morocco so I can just go right on in and take over this port right here all right we're gonna have to build I mean spend some um, diplomat points to build an admiral here we go uh, those stats are not really that good shocks pretty good but would be nice to have leader better since I think leader, I mean, um, speed is what makes them go faster in terms of attack and such. We're gonna blockade. Actually, no, Portugal's blockade right there, so we can just blockade right here now. And also, okay, they're blockade pretty well. Portugal's got that cover. And we got a massive boost in, um, war score already. All right, so continue with the simulation as we're about to take over that territory right there. Oh, Navarra, you're finally at 190, so we're going to have to stop improving relationships now. We're going to have to wait probably a month before we can offer vassalization. And we're about to take over this territory right here. Oh, no, don't. Please, Portugal, don't go in there. If you do that, I'm not going to be able to take all of Navarra. I mean, I'm Granada over. Damn it, don't do that. Leave. That's the one thing that sucks in EU4 compared to Victoria 2. When, if you're attacking someone, and they occupy a territory, they have the claim on. So, like, if I want to take over Granada, and if I take over these two, and Portugal takes this, I cannot take this from Navarra. I mean, I'm Granada. Only Portugal can. So, that prevents me from taking over all of Nav um, Granada if I want to. It's ridiculous. But right now, I'm staying in um, Granada right now. Let's get our troops over here, too. And upgrade troops before I make my next move. Alright, now it's been long enough where I think, um, we can fix our relation me, um, offer, um, vassalization. There we go. So now, in ten years, we can, um, offer to annex them. And, and it'll take some time to annex them completely, but once we do, oh boy, it'll be an extra territory. Okay, we can't... Oh, we're already at war, so we can't, um, fabricate a claim even though we got enough. Alright, so... Cancel building spy network. Okay, they're an enemy of an enemy. So Tunis will um, become try and become ally with you. Fix a relationship with you. Well, the war's certainly going a lot better than it was before. As Portugal's just sending all their troops right there for some strange reason or another. No idea why they would do that. 
They should be sending them down to Morocco instead, especially since they blockaded them. But hey, if I can't take over parts of Granada, all of Granada, maybe I can take on some territory from Morocco, although I'm sure that's what they're trying to do too. Let's pause for a moment. Portuguese conquest. That's a territory in, um, okay, they want that. Well, that, this is historical um, Spain right here, from if you remember from Victoria 2, so maybe I can take that from it. We'll have to wait and see. Okay, Morocco is right there. Blockade that territory. I can't, can't go in there yet. They're way too strong. And, of course, we're in mountains, so that's going to hurt our score, too. All right, so now we've got our max. we got 29,000 troops in total. We can't get any more than that now. All right, combine you guys. Let's see if we can go down. No, 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 never mind. I was about to send you guys down there, but unfortunately they're going to go down there, so we are blocked off, so we can't go into there. <laughs> yeah, I don't want that to happen. Absolutely not. I wonder if, hey, maybe they'll offer to ally with us. Hey, there we go. We'll offer an alliance with you. And maybe we can get you to join us and help us out. Let's see if they'll be willing to. Oh, of course, we're not, um, since we were invited, we can't offer our own, um, troops. Oh, well. I'm probably going to take you guys over eventually, but right now I guess I can keep you in good shape. So I guess I'll use, actually, no, save our diplomat point for later. Yeah, I'm diplomat for some other time. Uh-oh, they broke the siege at Portugal's African territory. It makes it easy for them to take it over. 21% chance of falling next month. We got 0% chance right now. Oh, Christ. I wish I could... Hmm. I wonder if I could send you... I got an idea, maybe. Let's send you guys to port right here. Let's see. There are 10 transports. We can get 10,000 troops right here. Let's see if I can get you guys over here or somewhere instead. Now let's see how many troops they got to. We need to see the ledger. Because that's very big at this point in the game. Military size, I mean troop size, is even more important here than it is in Victoria 2. Whereas in Victoria 2, even if you have a bigger army, if you're techno technologically backwards, it mean it doesn't mean shit. Here, technology by and large, especially at the beginning of the game, is pretty much equal. So how many troops you got really does make a difference. We have 29,000. Portugal. I don't see them yet. Let's see. Limit only to um enemies and allies. Alright, so Portugal me, me and Portugal combined that's forty five thousand troops. Morocco has seventeen thousand and Granada has seven thousand, which I would assume got destroyed on oh no oh okay, so they have all the, a lot of their troops right there. So it was like sixteen thousand nine so we double the troops. That's pretty big, but the problem is that's mountainous area, so that's gonna hurt us in the long term. I mean taking them over. All right, did I set... Okay, yep, yeah, I set... Attached to the siege. Because Fez is the capital. Yeah, Fez is the capital. Let's try and send his ships over here. Now, let's see if I can, um... Send them over here. Although, the problem is this has no fort whatsoever, so this will be taken over really quickly, but once... Until we take over Fez, we can lose the territory claim right there, which could be a problem. Of course, if we take over the territory, okay, gain 50 administration for 50 inflation or gain only 10. I'll take the 50. Inflation goes down pretty quickly. And unfortunately, we're losing money too. That's not good. But the war's still technically going in our favor, but still not by much, unfortunately. Oh, my eyes. Oh, got something in them. Oh, they gave up. All right. I mean, they took over Morocco's territory right there, so that's not good. Oh, no! Our general died! No! No, 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 no! Not now! Oh my god, we need a general or we're gonna be in trouble. Oh my god, are you kidding me? You died that soon? Come on! Alright, now I'm gonna have to... Actually, I think I'll use my hair instead. Instead of building the general, save some points and see. Because our hair has no stats whatsoever, so that could be a problem. But of course, if he dies, we're going to be in trouble when our king dies, too. But I think I'll take the risk instead, but 
Not gonna put them on yet because we gotta have a territory taken over that I wanna have you on them instead. Unfortunately, they got 15,000, I mean 4,000 troops and feds. I'm not gonna touch that at all. Even though it's only 4,000 troops, so technically we could easily probably win. They have no general, but it's mountainous terrain, crossing the river, and of course, they could send those guys down there, then we'd be, be fucked, basically. We're still trying to take over that territory. Let's put our hair there instead. So maybe that'll be like a bit of a bulwark for them to not decide not to attack us. Okay, they're moving down there. Let's see what they're doing. Okay, they're still... Alright, we won. Wait. Something happened. Ah! So our war ended. Uh-oh! No. Oh! Oh, fuck. Renata gave up. Damn it! So I got nothing out of it now. Shit. So that means we're gonna be in peace with um, Castile for another like 10 years pretty much. God damn it Portugal, this is why I didn't want you to go to war. You fucked us over. Every single time, that's why alliances in this game are very problematic at the same time. Alright, since I can't take over Renan now for another decade, let's see if I can try and steal something from the bar. I mean, I'm, um, Portugal, I mean Morocco instead. We need 11 war score to take it over. We only got one war score though. I'm going to keep my offer for that right now, but I'm not doing anything yet to attack. But now that we got our troops right there, let's remove our hair and put you over here instead, as we're going to send you down here and begin making our next move. Maybe go over here. As we'll send you over here now. Come on, land at board. I keep... Oh, that's right. That's not, that's all their territory now, so we can't land it. All right, go over here instead. All right, so the bar is coming back now. All right, Morocco's making a move somewhere. As our ship's finally made it, combine you two and get on the ship. As we're gonna send you guys right here, and we're gonna have you maybe. Uh-oh, they're heading... Well, actually, they'd probably be heading down to um, Portugal instead. But I guess I'll take the risk. We're not going out here. We should kill them easily when we're on land. As long as we get there first, we'll be in good shape. Okay, good. They're going to Portugal instead. They, ha they don't have enough to take over the siege, though, so they can't do anything right there. Okay, they're leaving now. God, it takes that long just to land on territory that has troops right there, for God's sake? That's territory they want, too. So if we take that over, Portugal probably going to be fucked unless we offer it for them. Because <laughs> Port, um, I see Spain, you know, Morocco can't like make up their mind on what to do. I'm not moving to the capital yet. I'm not going to take that risk. But hey, we're starting to make some money now. Probably from, hey, the spoils of war. And we're making money from vassalization too, that's right. All right, should I or should I not? Is the question. Because if we take over Fez, that's going to be a major war score advantage for us. Because the war's still neutral in terms of strength. I think I'm going to take the risk, and we'll send our troops over to Portugal's territory to help out. But at least this war is going significantly better than it was before. That's a damn fact. It's going a lot better. Maybe we'll go down here instead. Okay, now they're coming back up. Uh-oh. That's not good. Looks like they're heading up here. Oh, shit. And we got no general there. We're going to be in trouble. And they're already locked into place. We might want to get the hell out of here. Or should I stay is the question, but they got no general, so we're going to be in trouble. Even if we are in land and they got across the river. Mm, that's not good. And they've already ma made their turn right there, so we're going to be in trouble. Let's see if I can control. I'm pretty sure maybe I can, um, like in Victoria 2, take control of their troops. Ah, nothing. Damn it. Shit. We're gonna be in trouble right here. I hope they can hold on, because our troops are not gonna be there in time. Okay, Navarre's coming in. Unfortunately, we're taking a loss. Hurry up and get there already! We maybe can pull it off! Come on, what takes you so long just to get over there? My god! Alright, now we're turning around. 
barely hanging in there. That's good. We won. That was a big war score gain, too, although we took a lot of losses. Phew. That was a close one. Alright, um... I think I'm gonna, um, split you in half and send some of you down here instead to kill Rusty's troops. Since they have no warp morale, they should die easily. Alright, so... Yeah, they got all of them. They don't got the ones that, down there blockaded. Oh, that's right, I forgot we got our island down here. I completely forgot about that. Shit. That's another suggestion. Maybe I should try and see if I can take that over, too. Let's send our ships down here. We shouldn't get any attrition at all. And they got... Port yeah, Portugal's got ships there already, so... We can fully blockade all of Morocco. Alright, here we go. This should be pretty easy. This should kill all of Morocco's troops right here, pretty much, because they have no score. Shit, they're fleeing instead. I guess it's not like in Victoria 2, we can just keep attacking them afterwards. Alright. <coughs> go down here. And we'll just, I guess, occupy this territory. They're going for Portuguese territory now. Or Portuguese troops, at least. We're at minus 49, minus 20. We're going to take this over very soon. Alright, they're fully mo uh, blockaded. Alright, Portugal's got that taken over. Well, we got that now, at least. Alright, let's go up here. Oh, that's right, we can't go up there because that fort, the Fort Fez is blocking us. Well, crap! We're completely surrounded. We can't go anywhere right now. Ah, damn. We can't do anything until we take that territory over. Alright, wait, we can go... Oh, wait! I... Huh, so Portugal can go there, but we can't. Even though the fort should block them, too. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. The... I get Burgundy? Are you shitting me? Let me see this. This is huge. Holy shit, I did! Wow, I've never seen this before. I've never had all of Burgundy before. This is the first time this happened. Wow. So I got all this territory right there. Holy crap, that's going to help us out. I think I'm going to muff our forts, though, since they're so far away. And they're not being used at all. We need to make some money. Alright, let's see. If we turn you into a state, we'll... Costs will go up, but we'll gain 30 ducats off it instead. So it'll be a 30-point income. So we'll do that. As for you, 55... A big gain in revenue right there. Okay, we'll do that. I think it costs points too, don't it? Well, it says money, but not ducats. I mean, um, diplomat points or anything. Yeah, we'll do that. Yep, keep doing that. Well, I never had this happen before, believe it or not. I've never, ever, 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 ever had this happen before. Unfortunately, our maintenance went up. Unfortunately, it looks like... Well, I guess it just happened, so I guess it takes time for them to be able to do that. I think I'll decrease our... I mean, I'm stop influencing Archon right now. And focus on, um... Well, I'm not gonna offer an alliance yet. I want to wait and see before I do anything of the sort. But hey, this was huge getting all this territory. Let's see how much our... Because it said some um, relationships went down quite a bit. I think. Well, it doesn't seem to be really anyone. I'm sure... Yeah, France is really pissed off at us. Let's try and fix our relationship with them. <clears throat> so we don't get into like a hot war with them. Even though it's not going to really help out. And let's go into... um. Let's see, where was it? Oh yeah, it was right here. Let's see if we can lower um, autonomy for everyone else. Nope, it's already set. I guess they're all in Spain, Castile. Okay, yeah, they're all in Castile. I don't need to lower theirs. So I can't lower any more autonomy right now. Well, that was pretty big for that to happen. I've never had that happen before. Hopefully at the end of the month we'll gain a... Ma um, some money, too, especially since we mothball our forts. Alright, minus 35 is still minus 21 right there. It takes a long time to do these, I mean, take down these forts, especially since you don't have, um, cal um, yeah, artillery yet, which is unlocked, and there are huge weapons in this game, but not till later on. 
That's a long time still from now. Right now we can only do infantry and cavalry. Whoa, what's this? Oh, well, that's pretty big. I don't know why it's still paused. Pause, I said. I kept pressing it three times. Oh, so. Oh, so they're. Oh, my God. We're losing six duck at the turn now because of this shit. Yeah, unfortunately, the state maintenance has not really seemed to be working very well in terms of um money. So I think I'm going to have to re and turn them back into um, provinces. In fact, don't we got... I think we got a bunch of troops up here, maybe. I guess not. Where was the thing that led me um, change um, states and such again? Uh, it's getting annoying. I don't see it anywhere. Where is it? It should be around here somewhere. See, I need to focus on the war instead, but I need to keep making this money, too. <sighs> Alright, we got that territory taken over. It's right. We still can't go down there yet. We can't go anywhere else. I wonder if I'm going to end filming soon, since nothing seems to be changing. Not giving you access. Their morale is low. And once we take over, ah, damn it, no siege right there. All right, we're going to send you back up there. Uh oh, Morocco's coming back at full strength again. All right, so fix our relationship with you. And finish our relationship fix with you. And unfortunately, it looks like our relationship with the French is not getting fixed at all. As it, oh, the, um, set the, um, War of the Roses looks like it's going on with them. But I'm going to waste our diplomatic point on you. <laughs> Even though it's not going to really help. Fortunately, Portugal is coming, I mean, Morocco is coming back stronger than ever. Uh-oh, they're sending our troops right here. Thankfully, we're here too, so maybe we can hold them off this time and get the win. Unfortunately, uh, losing a bunch of troops too, that's not good. All right, they're coming in. All right, we're just kicking their ass this time. Just obliterating them. That was a big win right there. But unfortunately, it looks like they're going to bring more troops in now. Yes, we won the siege there. That's huge. Now we can probably go down... Yeah, we can go back down there now. Start sending troops down there. But maybe I should wait before those troops move before I make my next attack. Let's see if I can force them to surrender now. Alright. Okay, they're not accepting that still. Christ's sake. Ah, fucking Morocco, accept already! Be a good little idiot and surrender already. Yes, we'll definitely kill those 1,000 troops right there. But once you take over Fez, that'll really help out. As we're on the verge of being into 1550 now. I mean, 1450. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to take that territory over. Go out here, and I'll send our ship out there to attack the Moroccan. I mean, a um, Portugal ship. That'll help us out. What? They're coming in? Uh-oh. I hope they're going to hold on right there. That's a lot more troops. And they got General 2K Navarre's coming back in. They got good General. Hopefully they can hold off. Shit. Okay, we're... It's actually going back for... All right. Looks like we're winning. It's very close, though. But we're killing a whole bunch of their troops. Come on. Hang in there. We got that territory. Hopefully it'll fall soon. Let's still going back and forth with them. All right. Go over here now. Come on. Hold off. Yes! Another big victory. Nice. And we're at 7% gain territory gain right now, too. Alright. So go over here. Hopefully they'd be willing to give up once we take over the capital. Maybe I'll screw over Portugal for them not letting us get on the vault in Granada like we wanted to do. And we lost that territory because our fort down there still. So we gotta take that over when we wanna get that. Alright, there we go. Got that back. All right, go over here. This fort will protect, um, prevent them from taking that over. All right, so I have to take a while to take that over. 14% chance to take over. Yes, we did it! All right, we got a big win now. We took over the capital. I think Morocco now will finally give up. All right, let's see. All right, they're willing to give us that. Um, It's not showing us... 
for, uh... I remember going to war one time, and it actually led me on pick the cores. I mean, a territory that had, um... Okay, it's not let me do that. Let's clear the off. Well, it's still not showing me, um, why it won't let me do that. Why won't it let me, um, offer Portugal their territory? It's not even appearing. Well, they, well I, can, I can take that from them, but they're going to be very pissed off from them. Although they're rival. I don't know if I really want that, though. That, let's see what I can take from them. I kind of would like territory down here to, like, cut them off and such. Okay, that will give us a major, um... See, in Victoria 2, there's Infamy, which, of course, if you go over to 25 points, people go to war with you. In this game, instead, it's Aggression Penalty. If you take too much territory very quickly, people in your area will become very nervous about you, and they could fo form coalitions against you. And right now, if I took over this territory, I'll suffer between one to three Aggression Penalty of 138 countries. Now... That's something to worry about, but it's not, like, too high to worry about stuff like that. So, maybe I would be fine. But let's see if I can take over some more territory. I, okay, that's the max I can take. It has to be under 79. Let's see if that'll give us 73. Wow. Um, I think I will take that from them because I don't want them to have access to this um, sea area. What if I take... Right, they, oh, I can take maybe something else. Oh, I can't. Let's see. That would give us a, um... Well, who cares a shit about Granada? Morocco I would be kind of worried about. But... With that... Okay, that's occupied by us. That's occupied. 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 That's not occupied. That could be a problem, though. But, oh, well. Alright. Oh, let's let's demand some money from them, too. Ah, uh, they can they only give us 20... I mean, 13 ducats. Alright, so... What if I transfer trade... What if I do that instead? Let's see if I add that in. Like, oh my god. That's not even really worth it by then. Shit, fuck that. I don't want... No, take out Humiliate. No, 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 no. I want all this and this down here. And the 13 ducats. We're gonna suffer a 40% extension penalty too, so it means we're gonna have to get cores down there too. We got enough points by to probably do that too, so that's gonna be a while before we go to war and such. Damn it, will cost. Okay, 310 to do that. Let's take over here too. We got enough to afford that. It'll cost 80 diplomat points in order to um, fix or relate, you know, do this deal. We're gonna send the offer and slow down the game, and one day that'll be it. There we go. All right. So our first war was a victory. Although it wasn't the war I wanted to happen. I wanted to take over Granada. But now I'm going to have to wait another five, I mean seven years before I can do that. All right. So that was a victory. I'm happy for that. I'm very happy. That was much better than last time as we send our troops back home now. Oh, yeah. And speaking of which, you guys go back to, um, um, protecting our trade go over here so now we got more trade connection right here we got 35 percent before it's got to be higher now since our territory got take we took over a whole bunch of territory unfortunate relationship with portugal got lowered a lot because they're very pissed off oh well we're gonna have to fix our relationship with them too where's the trade route i keep pressing the trade jesus okay we went up to 43 percent now that's good all right continue filming as, oh yeah, we got to do this now, too. As, ugh, we're still losing a bunch of money, my god! I'm pretty sure to moth... Alright, moth all the forts. And lower the supplies for all of our troops, since that's no longer needed. Well, there we go, finally. We gotta lower that infant... Infant... I mean, um... Um, lower the goddamn... Since it wouldn't come to my head, the, um... Inflation. They're gonna be going very soon. Oh yeah, let's lower the, um... I mean, give autonomy so we can lower their chances of revolt. Of course, it's not really helping much. We're still very pissed off. 
Alright, so I think that's everywhere. What about down here? Yeah, everything. Alright, now let's form fours. Oh my god, Fez needs 101. Alright. Do you guys. And we're gonna have to wait a lot. Really? Well, maybe if we um fix the core right there, that'll be fixed. We'll see about that. Because we can't we gotta do that eventually. Alright, there's nothing else I really can do right now. Hey! I got, um... Ah, oh, that's right, we're building cores in him, so we cannot, um, try and encourage him to become, pre um, pro Catholic right now. They're still gonna be Muslim for now. Ah, shit. Looks like we're blockaded from coming in. Looks like we're gonna have to ask Portugal for, um... Who are they at war with? I, I, they must be at war with, um, Port um, Morocco still. Yeah, we need military access. Speed you up. Alright, now we have access, so let's get back home. What the fuck? Hostile fort? We're, we're not at war with anyone, so what fort are you talking about? Go over here. Are, am I seriously going to have to do this, really? Transport them over here this way? Alright, so, oh, we got a rival. I guess Morocco's no longer considered a rival. I don't want to make any of them a rival, so I'm not going to touch that right now. Alright, so obviously it's not working with England France fix a relationship, so let's cancel them. There's the royal fixed relationship. Get back to Navarre and such. Yeah, let's get back to fixing their relationship because it's still got a bit to go. And we got to focus on fixing a relationship with. Portugal, too. Okay, there are troops right there, too. I wonder where Morocco moved their capital at since I took over their capital province. It's gotta be somewhere. But when I okay, down there. Alright. Oh, God, really? You're gonna be that much of a dick that I have to literally port me put at a port before you can move? But at least I got something done. I actually took over parts of Morocco. That was pretty big. Make them like my own colony eventually and such. Okay, now we're... Ooh, now we're making a buttload of money now. I'm going to film a little bit more. I want to get our troops back home first. Okay, now we got a free diplomat. So, fix our relationship with... Oh, come on. Really? What's well, four more days? All right, there we go. Fix our relationship with you because we're kind of torn right now after surrendering. Looks like you're still doing good in your war, so be happy for that, at least. Alright, there we go. You're all there, so combine. Attach. And we'll send you guys back home. Oh, come on! You're gonna keep being... Oh, fuck, right there. Forgot. Ugh, stupid. Alright, so now that they're there, now let's go back and get you guys. We gotta remove our um, hair from our generals, too. Venice wants access, we're not going to give it to them right now. Alright. Attach the siege. I mean, ship. Land down here. Alright, now that you're all back, you guys are going to go back to doing trade. Ah, uh, great. Now we're losing money again somewhere. Where the hell are we... That's uh, neutral again. That's not good. Maybe once we go back to doing tr protecting trade... Oh, that's right! We got all that money back from, um, spoils. That's right. Alright, so, unfortunately, we gotta get those troops built back up, but the only way they're gonna do it is we be fully supply them, which is gonna take a lot of money and troops, which, unfortunately, we cannot do at the moment. So, we're gonna have to build these guys up again before we ever go to war with anyone. Alright, so, let's see. Ugh, 3.3 .3 years, that's not good. We gotta get lower that down eventually. You guys need to hurry up. Yeah, we'll do that got lowered inflation down too eventually and I'm sure our embargo is not really helping us much either oh boy oh that's right we're part of the okay well yeah we'll give them access I guess they're helping out England such now too 
All right, I think I'm gonna finally end the episode off here as unfortunately we're not making any money whatsoever. Like, how on earth are we paying Ford maintenance even though they're mothballed? That means they should not take any money whatsoever. So what the damn hell? I don't get this shit. And I wish I could figure out, maybe I'll do it off screen, figure out where on earth do I take, um, make states no longer states and make them count me on protectorate and stuff. And then I gotta figure out what am I gonna do with Argon if becoming royal marriage will let us form Spain and such. I got a lot of crap to figure out. So, Johnny!